so uh, now that we've derived uh, the equilibrium tightness and the equilibrium level of employment and unemployment, we can kind of wrap up and derive, in fact, the value of all the variables in the model. Uh, once we are in equilibrium and we figured out what is the tightness that's um, realized on the market, we can actually find uh, everything that is to know about the model. So let's just um, do that. From the tightness uh, data star, we can infer all. Uh, we can infer the values, the values um, of all variables in the model. Um, so how is that? Well, uh, I mean obviously. The employment L star is going to be given by LD of theta star, which is also LS of theta star. So you can read employment from the suppliers of demand. Um, these are equal, so you can have employment. Unemployment level U star, we said it's H minus L star, so we've got that. We can also infer the unemployment uh, rate, small U star, which is just going to be. Uh, you know, u star divided by h. Remember that the unemployment rate is the number of unemployed divided by the size of the labor force. So that's going to just be 1 minus l star divided um, by h. Um, and we know that the labor supply at theta star is equal to f of theta star divided by s plus f of theta star times h. Um, if I use that expression, uh, I'm able also to express u star directly as a function of the tightness, and that's going to be actually s divided by s plus f of theta star. So that's kind of a useful uh, result. This one actually we can also uh, we can express u star directly as a function of theta star. So in fact, it's s divided by s plus f of theta star times h, okay? Um, so here we have first result, here we have second result, here we have third result. So this, as we said, was just L star, this was uh, u star and this is going to be small u star. Okay, so here we have uh, we have three results, but we have uh, many more results that we can uh, that we can compute. So, so here we've seen unemployment rate, we've seen employment, we've seen uh, level of unemployment. Um, we can also compute um, the number of uh, producers. So you remember that employment is equal to number of producers plus number of recruiters, and that's 1 plus tau of theta times the number of producers. That's because the number of recruiters, that's just tau of theta times the number of producers by definition of the recruiter producer ratio tau of theta. Okay? And so what we learn from that is that in equilibrium the number of um, producers in the economy is just going to be equal to L star divided by 1 plus tau of theta star and because L star is a function only of tightness we can rewrite all of this as a function of tightness. So basically um, the number of producers will be 1 over 1 plus tau of theta star times f of 
theta star divided by s plus f of theta star times h. Okay. So this is just n star. Okay. You can also compute if you really wanted to um, the number of recruiters. The number of recruiters r star is star of theta star times n star. And so using the expression that we just do, you could write it as tau theta star divided by 1 plus tau theta star times f of theta star divided by s plus f of theta star times h. Okay, and so this is just r star. That's another result. Um, so we have the number of recruiters, we have the number of producers, we have the number of workers, we have the unemployment rate. Uh, so here, if we wanted to, we could also figure out the number of vacancies that are posted V star. Well, that's very easy. It's just theta star times U star. And given that we've computed U star, it's going to be theta star times S divided by S plus F of theta star times h. Okay, so that would be v star. Okay, um, so we have another, another variable. Um, you know, we could compute the vacancy rate. So you remember that the vacancy rate is the number of vacancies divided by the size of the labor force, so the vacancy rate here uh, gets you know, a very simple expression. It's just going to be S times theta star divided by S plus F of theta star, right? Uh, so that will be small v star. Right, so bottom line, key point here is that once you have your tightness, you know, once you've figured out what is the tightness uh, in your model, in equilibrium, you're going to be able to figure out all the other possible variables that you're interested in. Of course, here we've derived you know, vacancies, unemployment, a number of recruiters, a number of producers. Um, you can, of course, also figure out like, how fast people find jobs. Uh, uh, the job finding rate is just f of theta star, the vacancy filling rate q of theta star. Uh, we really have everything that you may want to know about the labor market. Your model just makes a slew of predictions that, uh, about how all these things depend on tightness that uh, you, know, you can use to explain what you see in the real world and you could use to also make predictions about what may happen um, in the real world. 